to the core values. <laughs> <laughs> Real estate with integrity. So what is real estate with integrity? Real estate with integrity to me means like we do our transactions in an honest way. Don't lie. Over here at PRB, what we do is that uh, we will show WhatsApp chats, like screenshots to the clients so that it's very transparent to each other. Yeah. For us as a sales team, I think back to the basic fundamental is not to uh, tell lie or bluff your client, be it a seller or a buyer. Because at the end of the day, it will take more lives to cover another life. Uh, that's good. I think real estate with integrity means to conduct your real estate business with true honesty towards all your clients. The first one is real estate integrity, it's also the biggest one here. Mm. So real estate integrity means that uh, we look at our customers as people. At the back of each transaction uh, is the property, but behind every property is a family. And behind every family are people. And um, with this perspective that we are not looking at the transaction as a deal by itself, we're not looking at the deal being a commission purely, we're looking at uh, the relationship, we're looking at long term, we're looking at uh, human beings that we want to build relationships with. Yeah, so I think the most important thing about relative integrity is that we want to always remind ourselves that this is a people's business and we're dealing with um, families hard earned money when they save up enough down payment to purchase a property when they entrust their property for us to sell we want to sell each property to its fullest potential and we want to do good work and um, by doing good work it is technically by itself real estate with integrity because when you give your best and maximum uh, kind of effort and excellence level to perform each uh, marketing perform each analysis for your customer your seller or buyer you are performing real estate with integrity okay uh, number two the dream team what do you think makes a dream team for a dream team to happen uh, because in PLB there is a uh, a whole pipeline of processes before we launch any listing so i think every uh, part uh, forms like a cog in a machine so from the the our client care support team to the experience team to our digital marketing team to our creatives video photography everybody all the way up to the sales team to even closing the deal right so i think everybody plays at a very high level yeah so i think that makes the dream team or if you ask me that's what the dream um, machine is la, so to speak yeah <laughs> I think that the dream team is where it makes people feel that they belong at a place which is what I feel here. So a professional sports team. So how are we similar to a professional sports team? Every one of us plays a part in a in the team itself. So every one of us has a role. Uh, so we work in, together with the admin team, the creative team, the uh, sales team. We all play our part in securing the best um, outcome for our clients. I think that's what makes us similar to a professional sports team. We all work um, together with a team, team mindset, la, meaning that every small part um, works together to make the whole thing works well. So in other words, uh, there's a lot of uh, supportive roles uh, and all of us are supporting each other. Um, as long as every one of us... <laughs> In our team, we have different roles and roles and what? Eh? Okay, so superstars in our own positions. In what way are you a superstar? Uh, uh, I'm not a superstar, but Melvin and Adrian are superstar. Oh. <laughs> As I mentioned, uh, there's no superstar. It's more of uh, we are all constantly learning because even the best tennis player in the world, he or she still needs a coach. So it's a ever learning uh, journey. So together as a team, uh, we learn the best practices from each other. Like. Superstars in our own position is a concept we have in PRB whereby, because everybody's from a diverse background, uh, some of our teammates they are real estate salespeople. Some of our teammates they are creatives in the video industry, creatives in the in the uh, motion graphics industry. They are creatives in the digital marketing industry, some are client care specialists. So we want uh, everybody to be a superstar in their own position, meaning that they play to a high level of excellence and they develop their own talent and niche uh, as they grow with us here in PLB. <laughs> I'm waiting you answer hey, Look at you because you only want to answer me. I do not want to answer. Uh, in what way are you a superstar? <laughs> Your beauty. Just here. <laughs> <laughs> a creative family. How are we a creative family? Creativity is one of our 
core in a way also because it's what we wanted to help in creating um, different ways to help our clients to exit their property in the right manner, in the right price. So I think um, PLB really has that creativity in uh, maintaining such value. We are very creative. That's why we are creative family. <laughs> we, look for, we are forward looking. We look, we are forward yeah, looking. Yeah. We brainstorm for ideas. Yeah. We, we do things differently. Yeah. We always uh, try out different things, different ways, different methods. Mm -hmm. Working Lane Brothers has two engines, we have a creative team and an inside sales team. But we all work together as one and although um, the media team is creative in nature, but we do have good solutions from our sales team as well. This refreshing tender. How do you maintain zero office politics in PLB? For politics. office politics wise, is let's say if you have a problem with someone or maybe yeah. you encounter a situation. Uh, we will definitely just say to our teammate instead of backbiting or even uh, spread, spread the rumours to other people instead of the person itself. I remember Melvin got say like sometimes you can't find the right person right but you can be the right environment is it? Sometimes you can... If there's any issues arise we believe that uh, we need to address to the individual uh, directly and not talking behind uh, each other's back. Uh, we got each other's back. Explain a situation. Uh, there was a situation uh, one time where I was supposed to go for a shoot. Then I've been uh, I've, I've been having diarrhea for the past week. So Josephine actually came forward and like covered me for the shoot instead. So I'm thankful for her for having my back at that point of time. We got each other's back, explain the situation. So there's one time where Daniel lost sight for one week. <laughs> okay, la, actually the one time uh, I'm shooting a penthouse, there's a 4,000 plus square feet. But last minute I only get to know that before I leave that door. Then at the end, uh, Jenna told me that actually the, uh, that you need quite big. Then I said I cannot, I tell her, I cannot finish by myself. Then I just call Daniel. At that time, he's still at Woodlands at 9.30 p.m. Then I told him, Daniel, can you come and uh, shoot with me? Then he just said, okay, la, I go shoot with you. La. I just bring all the equipment there. Then Daniel from Woodlands just to change the, the direction to wow. stadium there. Then uh, both of us shoot together. But I tell you, the footage is shaky. <laughs> <laughs> At least I got her back. <laughs> so your back. That means that example, if you see a teammate being doing um um so called video edits until a very late hour, uh, and you know that he or she is having some issues with the graphics and things like that, we need to launch that home tour to the, today or tonight. Um, will you uh, leave your teammate alone? Will you stay back in the office and say that hey, do you need help? Uh, why don't let me just help you with this part? Why don't let me help you with this music? You know, so that uh, your teammate will not be left alone just to finish up the work. And maybe if you see a junior, will you go up to the junior and then tell the junior, say that, hey, do you need help? How are you here? It's been three months. Do you need anything? Anything that I can be of help of? And uh, it's a mixture of having the senior looking after the junior. And it's also a mixture of having everybody looking after each other's back. Just to give you an example, uh, when one ox, you know, in the olden days, uh, in the farming industry, one ox um, cannot carry the weight of two oxes, right? Uh, but when two ox are yoked together, uh, senior ox and the junior ox are, are yoked together, they can pull the weight of three ox that are equivalent to their, their weight. So when a senior and a junior comes together, cover each other's back, they can do great things as a team. And that is a very important concept we want everybody to have. And this is what we have always because we maintain this thing called circles of safety whenever we need help from the team members they are always be there for example like last week i was damn busy with my admin tasks and even the payroll so kevin stepped up and tell the clients that i will revert within the next few hours so i feel i'm protected by my teammates the property name brothers work as a team model and there's one particular incident uh, where the listing manager was away and an old client actually uh, reverted back uh, in the chat group so another listing covering manager was in the chat group and uh, immediately 
uh, this uh, manager engage uh, our own client and even before the, the overseas uh, listing manager was back in Singapore, the listing was already up and running and already in the market for sale. I can move on, right? Yeah, can. How do you practice being humble? Just sit down. <laughs> sit down. What is this concept of no brilliant jerks? Now, we believe that um, because we embrace uh, people with different talents and skill set, some teammates are maybe your IQ is very high, some teammates have very low IQ but very high EQ. Uh, over here, we don't believe uh, in um, so called having brilliant jerks in the, in the, in the organization. What is the meaning of brilliant jerks? That means you can be very intelligent, you can be a very capable person, you can, you can perform things at a very high level, but if you're a jerk, we, want, we don't want you in the, in the, in the team, right? Uh, because we believe that we can have very intelligent and talented people, but they can be nice and humble people. That means they, have, um, they can have a very high level of empathy. They can have a very high level of EQ to be a good team player and uh, we, we value team player more than intelligence. I mean if you are hardworking, you're not as fast, not as quick, not as intelligent, that doesn't matter. I mean most of the time when I interview my guys, I don't even look at their, their resume, I don't even look at their CV, I don't even ask for their degree cert. Right? All we need is we want to see whether are you a person that can work in a team and uh, we believe that team definitely achieves much more. I keep reminding myself that uh, there's always areas that I can improve. I always remind myself that no one is perfect. So with this, I tell myself that I have to be constantly aware of what I'm doing and cannot be too complacent whenever I get to achieve things. <laughs> How do you react to being humble? I think everybody is always learning and growing. I don't brag. I just tell the truth. I just be who I am. and. Uh, just be humble la. I mean, yeah. I always um, be very grateful for what I have uh, every day and also staying humble in the industry uh, makes you a better person because you never know when the type will change. I feel that uh, because if let's say you are good at something but then you look at others slowly, you wouldn't succeed. I think if you want to go far, you should go together as a team instead of like being alone yeah. and just succeeding alone. That's all for our core values. I still got behind! I still got behind! Still got behind. <laughs> okay, go far together. What does this mean to you? Think of the long haul game and uh, you work together as a team to reach there. Progressing together as a team but also going the distance. Mm. Yeah. Life is like a train. Uh, and your friends are all different people with you. 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 然后我理解的这个 go far together 就是不一定是一定要达到一个什么东西好像不是一定要取得什么成就但是如果在一起相处的这段时间里面从对方身上学到东西就已经是很有意义这是我对这个问题的理解啦 People are more important than things so define what this means to you I think this one to me is a bit hard because whenever they spot something, I'll score them first. <laughs> Melvin might definitely won't, but I will be the one to score them. Yeah, but here we are still treasuring people more important than things. Because once the relationship spot, we can't recover. Mm. But for things, we can still buy it, buy it again. It's not about the deal, it's not about uh, how much you achieve, but it's about the relationships that you build with the people around you. And I think that's what's special about this place. This is, I think, one of the most important internal core value. People are more important than things. Uh, what does this mean? This means that um, uh, it has two functions. Uh, function number one is that when we look at our customers, uh, they are more important uh, than um, the commission itself in the sense that we look at them as people, not as uh, working commissions. We look at them as families. We look at them as relationships that we want to build. Um, number two is that internally within a company, we look at our teammates, our employees, our, our staff, um, our partners as uh, people, 
as people that are very important to us, uh, more important than non-living things. Yeah, so there's been many examples, uh, like example, we have um, teammates that broke um, lights before, have uh, damaged certain camera equipments before, and um, sometimes they'll kind of ask me, a oh, boss, uh, sorry, I just broke this thing, and then other teammates will ask me, oh, how much is it you pay, and all this kind of stuff. So I told them that it's okay, no need to pay. Right, why is it that I say no need to pay? So here we have a no need to pay policy for camera equipment. Okay, the key rationale is because I want this feeling and I want this methodology to spread to the whole team in the sense that the moment you join PLB, you are my partner. You own the brand together with everybody else. We build a brand together for the long game. We go far together. And if I treat you as a partner, it means that this is also part of your brand. And if you're thinking with a partner mentality, there's no reason why you will purposely break an equipment. If an equipment is really damaged, it is definitely accidental, right? So if it's accidental, I will not require you to pay. I, as a boss, I will pay for it, mm -hmm. right? And I will cover, I'll cover this accident. Mm -hmm. And because I choose to trust you as my partner, and uh, we want everybody to come here with a sense of safety net that uh, you come and work here, you give up your best. You don't have to be very fearful about small little things, you know, um, I break this and break that. Of course, as a partner, we want to take care of our equipments and diligence and wisdom and taking care of the equipment is very important, but uh, we want people to work here without fear. So that's the main rationale of people are more important than things. Mm. All right. I think uh, there was an incident where Bari actually broke one of the light bulb uh. And I think it was Chun Tzu Baki studio It's a yeah. 300 light bulb 300 light bulb Light bulb And then it was uh, not one hours, uh, it belongs to someone else uh, Melvin pay for him So maybe pay for it lah uh. It's someone else's studio light bulb? Yeah, someone mm. else's studio light bulb How you break? Uh, I unscrew it and then the just broke Oh no! <laughs> we start work from home like last year Then we bring back one iMac <laughs> and one monitor then I accidentally dropped the monitor on the floor <gasps> yeah from the table yeah. Just, and it broke mm. cannot, the screen cannot be used already the pizza one yeah after it's that I straight away called Melvin yeah. oh, then he said don't worry I will buy you a new one <laughs> <laughs> okay I remember one case uh, I lost the whole bunch of kids for one of the <laughs> these things that I handle <laughs> wow I really so worried so I no try then to call the locksmith out then I inform Melvin uh, and Adrian also so uh, actually by right is uh, if I know that if other company definitely the cost will be borne by me so but Melvin and Adrian just say one thing to me actually uh, this is something that you don't wish to happen is not every time just one time so we actually, we actually split the cost 50-50 so I feel that this, uh, this thing actually tell me that in PLB, uh, people are more important than things. Right, so I think um, what we believe is uh, all of us, we will do our best to take care of the things we are assigned to or in what we are doing. Uh, if accidents happen, it happens um, unintentionally. Yeah. So what do we mean by people are more important than things? Um, equipments and cameras can be replaced, but people are the true assets of property living.